pulling into Kunal equipment. I'm taking a drive through here in a while, so I figure I might as well and just kind of see what's all here. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms, and today we're looking at some auction. So Kunal Equipment is having their annual, I think it's their annual uh, equipment dealer inventory reduction auction. I'm not 100% sure exactly what to call it, but you can kind of see auction items right here. They got a quad track on auction, a 540, a 135MX, a truck, a couple smaller tractors, skid loader. Let's go out and take a look. Sorry, you guys don't want to see my ugly mug. My ugly balding head, I should say. Let's go take a look. Got a spreader, mowers. Looks like, this looks like a cover crop seeder. It's kind of neat. I don't know what we'll do for our next for our next uh, replacement for the cat. If we'll go with the quad track or what we'll do, but this quad track's definitely got a decent amount of hours. Got some wear on it, but pretty cool. I'm definitely parked in the way, so I will get out of the way. Got a blade. I don't know, nothing really interested in. At least down here at the other at, up at Preston, it's got a decent amount of stuff. The skid loader with wheels. Replace the wheels with the uh, basically an airless version. Pretty cool looking stuff. Oh, there's a new new Kuhn accelerator. Quite a few combines, 8250s, 8240s. I was actually hoping that, if you guys remember in this video right here, there was a lime green painted Steiger sitting here. I was actually hoping I'd be able to see that puppy, but nope, it must be in the shop or back to its owner. I don't know, I was just kind of being nosy. This is where they park all the equipment for service. These are owned tractors, like there's a 400 AFS Connect, 280s, 280 Magnums, New Hollands, another, 80, another 400 AFS with a flat tire. There's a brand new 235 Draper. Almost as rare as equipment is, these 200 series FD drapers by Macdon. Apparently they're having trouble building all of them. They're really behind. If you'd order one right now, you wouldn't be able to get it for over a year. That's what I've been told. So, so anyway, yeah, so we're looking at that auction stuff. Not a whole lot here, but we might head up to Preston and just kind of see what they have on there. I know up in Preston they have a, uh, a, Kenworth, uh, a Kenworth semi, a couple of vehicles, a uh, high-speed tillage disc, which is pretty sweet. So, I don't know. Let's head up there and take a look at that stuff, and then we'll get to the farm and see what we got going on today. Here's the big dairy. I've seen like six of these tankers moving. Oh, there's a lot more than six there. So they must be uh, moving poo somewhere. So here we are. Just getting up to, uh, to Preston here. Oh, there's the, that's a Jeff's truck on the uh, good trailer. Nice. So just taking a look at what's all on the auction. There's that nice Kenworth semi, speed tiller, a couple other sweet things. This drill wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Decent amount of stuff on here, but uh, ooh, there's a nice 24 foot Myers chopper box. Nice. Decent amount of stuff on the auction, but I don't think it really anything we're too terribly interested in. But like I said, if you guys are interested, it's on Big Iron. I got a couple uh, couple Dodge vehicles. There it is, March 20th. Hopefully this video will have come out by then. Yeah. Oil's good. Go ahead and fire this bad girl up. I have not ran this truck in a hot minute. Let this guy warm up. Head over, put the fuel in it. Go load up. Filling her up, and I was uh, out. 
it's just so much faster than going to a gas station and paying for it. I can fill 35 gallons a minute and it's free. I don't have to go pay. And it's right on the farm. But we've already used 3,000 gallons of fuel in three months. Take that times $4. That's over 10 grand. Just in fuel. Dang it. Just missed. Wanted to get it satisfying right on 500. Filling. Loaded. Let's head down to Clinton. See if anyone's around the farm. I don't need to know. Hold on green. passed a lot of hoppers coming here there's probably quite a bit of people delivering here even though there's three dumps open hopefully there's three dumps open at least oh, let's open this sucker up and no rush because there's a couple more back behind the probe getting probed Definitely thought that cat was dead. It was just curled up in a ball and like some cement. Definitely thought it was dead. So I yelled, and it got up. Fun, fun, fun. Getting ready to dump. trash away and then shut the truck off and let's go eat. Just got done with lunch. It was delightful. So now we'll go uh, hop on one of those things. Oh, after a delicious lunch of chicken, lasagna, and cherry pie dessert. get back to hauling let's roll so this truck is a 13 speed transmission that means that I have 13 gears you can kind of tell by that little red splitter right there so we'll take this thing fill it back up with corn get loaded ah, loading out of an auger and a big auger at that. That's one way to clean the mower is to pick up the front half of the forklift. Okay, so now it is a drive through again, so that's good. Go ahead and fly through here and maybe even get another load in. We shall see. Well, I, I guess not very much a drive through because there's four trucks right here. Oh well, better than last time, at least the app says. Oh, I saw brake lights. Girl, I was hoping this would be a drive through Oh, well. Let's hope all three dumps are still running. Um, legit, I have no idea what this truck's doing. This is our feet. Oh, it's Farrell's. Yeah. No clue. The neighbor trucking company. I just don't know why they'd be pulling in our place. Getting loaded one last time. Just got loaded, they loaded down the side chute because it is 420 just about. And ADM closed at five, so I'm gonna try and make it in by now, by then. Dang. That was one sweet cab over right there. Alrighty, I made it in with about seven minutes to spare. That's perfect. We'll get in there, get it dumped, hopefully back on the road by 505. 
Oh, uh, less than that. Hopefully less than that. And then we'll uh, go fill it up. By that time, it'll probably be dark. Definitely didn't plan on hauling grain all day today. I was hoping to haul a live or a red line, but you know what? Guess it is what it is. About ready to get probed. So yeah, so I didn't really expect to haul this much grain today, but we have quite literally, actually, the last load that I get on will be the second, third to last load we'll have in the store. We'll have two more loads to get out of the store, and then all of our grain between my dad, me, Nathan, Curtis, Pat, will all be gone out of the store, which is good because all the rest of our bins, we're not paying anything on because we already own them. Those bins, or the up at the store, we were paying four cents per bushel per month. You know, if we had 100,000 bushel left in there, if we didn't take anything out of there, well, you can do the math, 400, or 100,000 times 0.04, it's a lot of dollars every month. Hey, there's two cardinals. Nice. So, that's why we're pushing to get it out. Especially when we got some pretty good deals right now. The processor actually had a cash price of 454 today, which is higher than what I've sold for in the past. So, that's why I brought a lot of guys out of the woodwork. Honestly, I'm shocked that the price is this good. I don't know how it got up this high. All of the uh, pundits and people that talk about grain marketing was saying it's not gonna go it has a much higher chance of going lower than higher so I don't know what happened if it was an export report or WASDI or something came out today I'm not sure but either way I'm not too I'm not too up upset about it I sold 2,000 bushels at 452 today so I'll take it squirrels just munching away it's amazing how close to closing time of this place just empties out this was basic, not wall to wall, but it was busy, steady all day. And just three minutes left till it closes, and I am a, it is a straight drive through. This will probably be my record for time in and out because I'm uh, not crawling through this place. Also, not going stupid fast though. Let's go dump. Curtis loading up so this is Nathan's second to last load he has priced and then I will be his last load he has priced so then Nathan has roughly 2,000 bushels left in, at the store and then we are completely cleaned out six o'clock getting dark on me but hey on the bright side six o'clock and it's not pitch black out yet so that's good it means the days are getting longer and it won't be long until we'll be in the fields I'm hoping next week guys we're gonna get in the fields and go hard with that sulfur really can't wait Last one of the night. Good time. Oh. Good day of hauling. All right, guys, I promise that is the last full day of hauling that you guys will have for a while. We're out of winter hauling season and we are getting into spring season. We're going, next video you guys have, we're gonna be spreading some lime hard. Just you wait. So the reason why you guys are wondering why the heck isn't my uh, my truck going? Well, we broke down. Something doesn't match. Let's get a wheel seal leaking. What a wheel seal is is your wheel bearing or your mate your axle. Basically, what what your wheel actually spins on. It's a uh, oil bath, and sometimes the seals go out. So we gotta fix that. That's why the 99 is out of commission for a little while. But that's okay because Jeff's trailer is out of commission for a while because. It's gonna get some welding done. Okay, let's go over and see what the guys are up to. So I'm not sure what the guys are up to. Curtis is uh, firing up the uh, Steiger and our mystery vertical tillage. That really isn't, is the world's worst mystery. It's probably because I haven't talked about it yet on the video. We'll get to that in the next couple of videos, I swear. I'm going to fiddle fart around. Wife is gone tonight, so I have some time. I'm actually going to switch some radios around. Take them out of the combines, put them in the sprayer and something else. I think the 8050. 
And then, yeah, we'll uh, see where we go from there. You guys wanna know how easy it is to swap out a Midland MXT Micro Mobile 115? It's as easy as this. Power cord. Ugh. Handheld, walkie. Unscrew the uh, antenna. And unhook, which I need two hands for. There it goes. Quite literally 30 seconds and requires the use of two hands for about five of those seconds. No idea what Kurt's doing, but I'm just hearing the baskets dragging and dragging and dragging. So I'm guessing he's trying to move it, but he can't make it through without hitting something. So I'll help him back up. That's good on those front blades. So I just switched a bunch of radios around, installed one in the sprayer. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really a whole lot else to do. I'm switching channels because I'm gonna hook up to our repeater that's up on top of our leg. So we can get that done and then, yeah, I think that'll be about it for the night. I'm gonna switch this last tractor and then probably mess around with my 340, the other 340, not this one. Mess around with that for a little bit, make sure that thing's ready to go by next week. And then probably head home. Oh. Repeater. Sweet. And that camera is just so sweet. I'm so glad I figured that out. Just waiting for the monitor to boot up. I'm just going to look at uh, really just how, how many acres I spread last time and then we're going to call it a night. Good enough. Well, guys, appreciate you tuning in. Next video you guys see, the behemoth will be in action. And not just one load this time. It'll be plenty. It's be plenty dirty. And I am excited, guys. So thank you, as always, so much for watching. Take care, take it easy, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Ta-ta for now.